Hi right, folks, so today we're going to talk a little bit about how to process your data from the plate reader for an LDH activity assay. And by the end of this, you should know how to process your data and how to get it in an activity unit, which is in terms of what's we call units per mil. Uh, and we'll talk about that. Um, but here's the raw data coming out. And for this experiment, what I did was look at um, only columns one and two with purified LDH. This is very similar to what you see when you're doing purified LDH as the first step of this protocol um, as your practice. And since we only did stuff in one and two, we don't need a lot of other stuff here. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear out a bunch of stuff. I don't need this stuff. Uh, I don't need anything that's not a one or a two. So I keep my A1 and A2. Um, I'm gonna get rid of all this other. Just hitting delete, or you can right click and hit delete and it'll actually comply. Uh, compress it down for you, that's good. So I'm just gonna do that all the way across until I get to H1 and H2. And we'll get rid of all this stuff too. So that's a nice compact set of data. Um, you can notice that this is taken every six seconds. Every 0, 6, 12, 18, 24. And if this went all the way, it would go to 24 hours. We also can see the temperature. We don't really care much about the temperature. I'll go ahead and delete that. Right, this one can stuff up. That's fine. And we can also see that we're at 340 nanometers. That's the wavelength of NADH formation. Uh, and that's so as NADH is made in this activity assay, we're going to end up with a higher A340 over time. And you can actually see here that the absorbance of 340 increases over the course of the experiment. And you can also see that in all of these wells, which is a good thing. Now, the time this is giving to us is in 24-hour uh, periods. And so what we need to do here is we need to process our data such that it gives us um, data in a normal per minute. Okay, so at six seconds is 0.1 minutes. So since it's taking it every 0.1 minutes, I'm just going to make a little formula here that says add 0.1 every time, and I'll drag it down. Our activity is always in uh, per minute, so I'll just add that. This one I don't really care about anymore. It's just there. And this is something you have to do every time. Uh, it's annoying, I know, but it's something we need to get so our units are correct. And it'll make our life easier here when we have to do some conversions. All right, so that looks really nice. So what we could do here would be to plot all of this out um, and get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16 plots on the same plot. Find all those linear equations and average them and find the slope, uh, which would be a mess. Um, instead, what I'm going to use is the slope function in Excel. Equals slope. It's going to ask for known y's. Remember, our absorbent says are our y's. So I'm going to select down the y's on the column above it. And then it's going to ask for my x's, which are my times. I'm going to hold these guys constant, the a's, because it's always the same time. It's going to be different absorbents. So that just calculated the slope of my data. You can also do this with the interval command if you cared. Uh, but really all we care about is the slope because that's going to tell us our activity. So once you have those slopes in there, you can drag across. And now that's going to calculate the slope for every set of data very quickly. Um, so this is 16 rep repetitions of the same sample. And so I'm just going to try to get an average of all of those slopes. So my average slope was 0.031383, and that's just an absorbance per minute, correct? Absorbance is here, and per minute is over here. Um, our unit for activity is micromoles of NADH per minute per mil of enzyme. So that's our activity unit. So we need to do some conversions. Luckily for us, this conversion factor exists. And if we want to convert between our average here, just our average slope, 
and our activity, all you have to do is multiply by 6.9 and by 1 over your dilution factor. So for me, I had a 1 to 10. A 1 to 10. Okay, so that's my dilution factor. So if I want to find my activity, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my slope, my average slope, times my 1... 1 over my 1 to 10, which is just times 10, really, times 6.9. Oops. Oh, gosh, it's freaking out on me. Times 6.9. Oh, no, it's almost done. Let's try this. That was good. Okay, so if you look at the formula up here, it's F22, which is my average absorbance, times 1 over my dilution factor, times 6.9. This is my activity in units per mil. And again, a unit is a micromole of NADH per minute. So that's how you're going to process that data. Again, you want to be sure you're exporting your data as a raw columns format off the plate reader, and then coming up with the average slope based on this uh, approach. So that's helpful. See you next time.